Good morning. Angela Toma here with Dogwood Paper Arts. And we are going to finish our envelope journal today. And so far, this is what it looks like. We have to fix that. Um, it's actually coming along greatly. It didn't turn out like a uh, junk mail envelope um, journal. <laughs> And I forgot to leave room for the signature, but let me tell you what. This has lots and lots and lots of journaling areas. And you will absolutely love it. Um, my challenge was, one, to make an envelope journal. And I did okay at it. I mean, I made one. It wasn't a junk journal, but I did make one. So I've done that my next success will be to make a junk mail envelope journal with a signature in it. But I love this. This is a little different. It's lovely. It's got lots of neat areas that go this way and that way. And the next challenge I had for myself was I have so much paper because I bought lots of paper when I was making mini albums. And then I um, absolutely needed to get back to the journals. I um, used to do journals long ago. Um, not, well, not that long ago. I'm not ancient. Gee. Um, I know it sounded that way, didn't it? But um, I did used to make them, and I used to make, um, I used to keep lots of ephemera and stuff in my journals, and I used to keep a journal writing in it all the time. Um, whether it was poetry or words or just whatever, I just put it in there for fun. Um, so my next challenge to myself was to use up a paper pack, one paper pack. So I had the Stamperia Dream pack. I have two of them actually. But I only allowed myself one pack. I didn't, I didn't bust out the other one to use it. So this right here is what I have left of the Stamperia Dream paper pack. Oh, less this paper. I'll tell you about that one in a second. Um, so this is, I used some fabric in here, some of this pink basic gray, um, it's pink, but its name is basic gray fabrics. So I used some of that, and there was a lot of these, and I just couldn't use them all, you know. So I think maybe the best thing for me to do with them would be that maybe cut them down into little tags or something, or booklets, maybe? We might try that. But this is all I have left. There was lots of words in this pack, and I've put a lot of them in the journal. And then, of course, down here on the bottom, we have um, a coffee dyed paper. So, what happened was, I didn't have enough to make the last notebook journal that I want to put in this. And I didn't have enough for the second to the last journal, so I used this paper. And let me show you in the album what that looks like. If I can find it. It is right here. It doesn't look Christmassy. But it's just a small little journal. This is rose dyed paper. And this is coffee dyed. So it's just a small little writing journal. My coffee dyed paper, I had two halves of uh, a, that almost, that if I put them together made a full page, so I did that. Um, but really, this is the only giveaway that it's Christmassy. So um, I use that. And uh, to make my little notebook. But I still don't have enough unless 
I kind of make a quilt block out of it. This is the Christmas one. So let me set that over there. Same way with that. And same way with that one. So anyway, I didn't really have enough to make the next journal cover. And I, you know, I could piece it all together. But, you know, that takes so much time. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set this behind me. Oh, we have that to make too. Um, I can't use this because that is Christmas and that won't fit in this journal. Oh, this goes with that. So I'm going to save this for my Christmas stuff and I'm going to put it up in my Christmas box. And I'm going to do the same way with these since they are from the Christmas pack, just in case I need them there. Now this one is also from the Christmas pack. So I think we are going to use this one to make the journal that goes in the back here. I don't know if we, if we can make one that will fit. I just don't know. Let me stick this ruler in there and let's stretch our paper a little bit. So that we can, I hope I don't break my ruler. That's really a tough journal. Man. It does help to kind of stretch your papers a little bit. You see that? I'm just kind of wiggling that back and forth and stretching the pocket. You do need to get down towards the bottom when you do these. But you don't want to shove it through the bottom of your envelope. So that does help. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. Look at that. Okay. Now, the other thing I had to do back here was, because this is a flap that is getting a lot of stress, from bending over here and the journal stretching out here and there. I had to reinforce the outside, the inside, and the outside with fabric. And I just used the same thing I'd used to make my hinges here and it, um, it looks great. You know, it just all matches up. So I'm, I don't have a problem with that at all. I think it actually looks pretty good. So, um, so anyway, I wanted to, to um, get back to you and not finish this up completely without you. Um, there's a few more things to do in here. So let's um, make this journal that needs to go in here. Now we know that it needs to be shorter than this. So that's okay. That'll work. We want it to not come all the way to the bottom, but we need it to come up enough that we can get a hold of it up here. And a pencil. That's my phone buzzing me. Um, I'll tell you, my daughter, one of my daughters, sent a text that said, I'm in shock. I made it into Hobby Lobby and I only spent four fifty nine, and I was only in there for less than a half an hour. So my, her brothers and sisters are teasing her. And uh, of course I said, gosh, my Hobby Lobby stay is about two hours, you know, minimum. And uh, I have a maximum too. I just, if it hits lunchtime, it's time to leave. But. <laughs> but anyway, they're kind of teasing her about, you know, how, how she did it and stuff. So, and this is the other side of that Christmas paper. So, you know, really, it matches this album quite perfectly. Now, we know that this goes clear over to its sides, but we don't want it to take up that much space. So I'm going to bring it in about a quarter of an inch over here and about a quarter inch over here to make my little spine. 
and I have to clean things up today. So now I don't know where I put things, but I had to clean up because of my cat and my dog because they need to be able to be in here with me and um, they can't do that if I'm, oh, I know, I put it right here. I'm looking for my scoring, my large scoring board because I want to score this wherever you make your mark, just find a score line to make your score. I'm not going to give exact measurements. And then I'm going to score it over an eighth of an inch just to give it a little tiny spine. Get out of there. Not you guys, my cat. He's chewing on paper. He is so naughty. He has been terrible. So last night, at 2 a.m., he gets sick on, and throws up. So I take care of him, get all the throw up cleaned up. And then what's he do? He goes out to my computer and up on the computer. I don't know about you guys, but I don't always have a nice clean computer area because I'm really busy, you know, making digitals and stuff like that. And uh, he um, got up on top, clear up on the shelf. See, there's a little spine there. A little tiny one. Clear up on the shelf. And what does he do? He knocks everything down because up on top, the very top of my little stack, of all my little uh, labels and stuff like that, you know, all those little uh, Avery packs you get, and um, he knocked all of those down, plus a photo of my mom and I, and it came crashing down into the screen of my computer. Now, he's lucky it wasn't broken <laughs> because I think, uh, you know, it just would have been a really bad thing had he have broke it. But thankfully, it was not busted. It Everything worked out fine, but I got up at 2 a.m. and I went out and started putting stuff away and uh, he is just looking for trouble to get into. Let's have a look at this. Oh, I made it way too small. No, it's going to be okay because when it's bigger and it fits perfect, yeah, it's going to be fine. Um, anyway, he was just a naughty boy, a very naughty boy. So, cat. <laughs> that cat. So, anyway, I was saying, I got up at 2 a.m., had to put everything away, so then I decided, well, I might as well get up have my coffee, I'll watch the news, I'll watch some YouTube videos, and uh, so my day started quite early. How about that? But anyway, I don't know why lately he has decided that he is going to chew, chew, chew on all the plastic he can find. Um, that he's healthy. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just in a naughty, naughty mode. And I just don't know what to do with him. Okay. I am going to open this up. And I'm going to make a line right about 
the center of this eighth, so about a sixteenth between the spine. And then I am going to, I wonder if I can actually fold it and use this many sheets. I'm going to try. Okay, let's make sure it fits before I chop it off. Yes, perfect. Now I could tear these edges, but I think I'm just going to cut them. Let's see, one, two, three, that's six, 12 pages to write on. Let's put um, maybe three more in there. So I'm just going to take this one and I'm not going to put a spine in these. The spine on this is going to be the page itself. Whoops, that was an outside piece. Whoops, watch out, baby. So anyway, I spent some time cleaning up in here so he and the dog could be in here. The cat and the dog. And, um, of course, I put a rug in here for the dog and made a nice little spot for her and brought some bones in. And So what's she doing? She's out in the living room. <laughs> if I hadn't have done all that stuff, she'd be in here seeking more stuff to chew on. Kind of like the cat. Hey you, what do you think you're doing in my yarn? Can you tell that might be a cat in the yarn? Okay, so there's a nice little journal to write in. Do you think that's enough pages? What do we have now? One, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So um, 28 pages. That's a 28 page journal. It's not a nice big 100 page journal, but you know, that is that fits nice in there. But I think I could actually maybe put a few more. Now I know these won't make a good place in there, but they could be little half pages, you know. Nothing says that a journal has to be all the same size. So let's just go ahead and fold some of these this way and make some little half pages in there. Go ahead and insert those. One, two. So that'll be a nice little writing page. One, two. And so will that. One, two. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Oh, sorry. I'm off camera. No, yeah, you could still see me, couldn't you? Oh, I like that. I think that looks nice. Okay. And we still have some sheets left. So what can we do? We can. Fold this one this way. And then we can fold this one in. So 
goes in. So let's go. And I'm going to offset these. Top, middle, bottom. Oh, to do that. Before I do that, I've got to cut it off, don't I? So let's take that one out of there. You have to forgive all the noise outside. They're paving, um, repaving the streets out here. We always get lucky out here, and I think it might be because we have a city manager living out in the neighborhood. So um, we tend to get a little bit lucky with um, street cleaning and stuff like that. It's nice. Okay. So anyway, all the paving going on is quite noisy. I've got a reflection here, so you have to forgive me. I want to line that up there. Okay. So that needs to be on that black line. And I'm going to get this very sharp knife that my husband bought me. Um, I love this knife, but it scares me. It scares me. It scares me. Because <laughs> it's so sharp. So just go slow if you have a sharp knife. Or if you have a dull knife, go, go slow too. Because they both hurt after you get cut. kind of in the way, but I can make a little book out of that. But it is making me cut uh, wrong. It's making me cut into it, so off it goes. It'll become fodder for another journal. All those little bits now I have to cut off. Just go easy and firmly. <laughs> Made it a little bit fuzzy down there, didn't I? Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. Yes, and I like it to be inside a little bit. I don't care if it comes out here beyond the bits and pieces. I mean, if you don't like that, then go ahead and just slice that off too. Um, let me put my very sharp knife away. Before I cut myself, because I might. I'm very good at that. I'm going to round these. <laughs> this thing really cuts through the thickness, I'll tell you. But you got to get it all the way in under the cutters. Okay. Yes, I like that. Okay. So as I was saying, these pages. We went every two with the other one, so we're just going to go every other one. And like I said, I'm going to go top. And then we're going to go let's put this one down there. And fold it right about there. And then I'm just going to fold this one in. It doesn't have to be the same length as this one. Then whoever gets this can turn these into pockets if they like. So we have that one, the half one, and then we have here. This one's going to go in the middle, or semi-middle, whatever, whatever works for you. And this one. Oh, 
hope that's my husband that came in. If not, you're going to hear me scream. I'm listening. It must be my husband. Because I locked all the doors so nobody could come in if, if it was somebody else. Okay, so this one's going down to the bottom. I'm sorry if I've been off screen. Okay, let's have a look. Perfect, and then we have a center page. Now, usually a center page has something nice. Hmm. What could our center page have that is exquisite? Yep, that's my hubby. I hear him. Um, let's look in here. Oh, he's going to feed her. I already fed her. How about something like that? That's January. I don't really want a date on it. Ooh, you don't want a snake. March is always a beautiful month. Oh, this one has eggs. And that would go with our speckled egg, won't it? see. I think we'll use this one. Get back out my sharp knife. You're like, I can't believe she's doing that. I can't either. Could have pulled out a, my paper tearing ruler, but okay, we'll do that in a minute. So something pretty for the inside. And now there's nothing that says this whole thing's going to fit. See? So probably want a page number. sort of even, don't we? Um, and I forgot to set my timer again. I'm very sorry for that. Um, tearing ruler. It's easier if you turn it this direction. And there we go. We have that. I'll save that because that'll be good in my little bag there. And then let's see. I think we can, well, if we take off that, then we can have the whole poem. So let's take off the word March. Oh, there he goes. That's my cat. He just tore things out of the shelf. And then... Right about here. I'd rather have it too short than too long. There we go. And so we have a little insert there. 
in the beauty of our book. And there it is. A nice little journal in our envelope journal. And because we made it smaller, it should fit just fine. And we've stretched our pocket out too. So there it is. I don't want to shove it all the way in there. I won't get it out since it's not all pulled together nicely. Very nice. Okay. So I can see I have a corner here that needs to be nipped. There we go. Got that one. And I think we need to round this one. I'm doing a half inch um, round corner on them. I can see this one sticking out. It's got a sharp corner, so let's just unsharpen it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. I think that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Now, next thing is to get this in here. And now if we put a tie on it, that is going to make it um, Too big. So we have to kind of think about that. I think we'll have to put a pull tab on it right here. Um, but we do got to get that in, don't we? So I am going to. Set that on its little one eighth inch spine and poke through the center there. And let's just see where I come out. Oh, pretty close. But I want to come out right there. There we go. Now, I want to go through, well, maybe right there. I want to go between the words. Hi. Did you feed her? Dale? It's a little off. Let me do it this way. Because I want them to be semi even. So So it kind of lines up anyway. Don't poke your finger when you do this. It is really hard to line it up. 
and get everything to come out right. Okay, that one's lined up. There we go. All right. Let's make sure this hole's still there. And it is. Okay, we are ready to sew that in. And I pulled out some of this pink um, jewelry twine. Uh, it's a wax cotton cord, so it's thicker though than um, than this, I think. Yeah, it's a bit thicker than that. But we're going to use it. I'm going to use my big eye needle because it's easier to thread with this heavy duty wax cord. And this time I'm going to um, put it on the inside. It's going to be a three hole pamphlet stitch. So there we go. I'm going to use the table to help me because that thickness there. Let me grab my cat. He's chewing on plastic. Luigi, go on. Oh my goodness, he left me a gigantic mess. I think I'm going to have to trade my shelf here for something that has cupboards on it. Doors. Because he just won't stop. You should get up here and show him your naughty, naughty kitty. You want to come up and say hi? No? You just want to be naughty? Well, that's no way to be. That is no way to be. Got too much hair. So, because I want to save a little bit. Oops, wrong one. Let's go this way. Are you coming over to say hello? Now this is the hard part, especially when you have some really thick cord. Oh, but there it goes. Maybe it's not so hard. Um, is to um, go ahead and take that off. Let's see. So I started here. So if I pull that one this way, that'll tighten this one. If I pull this one the opposite way. We should end up with a nice tight. Luigi, come here. Come here. Come say hello. Let me pick up the needle first. Come here. Kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. He knows he's being naughty. He's like, I'm not coming over there. I might get in trouble. Luigi, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here and show your pretty face. Says I'm getting the heck out of Dodge. Let's see. Charm or no charm? We could put little paper charms on it. Don't know. Clipping. Keeping that one, throwing that one. Come on, Luigi. Come up here and say hi. Come say hi. Okay. Well, there we go. Now, let's put a pull tab here so that we can pull it in and out of that envelope. 
Um, I think I'll put it on the back because that would be a little nicer place for it. Um, let's see. We want something heavy duty. Maybe something that matches that. I think I put all that up in the Christmas paper. No, that's that one. So I must have put it behind me where I'm using it. I wonder how that would work. Ooh, I like it. You're thinking, oh my gosh, she's going to use that giant circle. I'm thinking about the giant circle. It doesn't mean I'm going to use it. I like the flowers on it. Um, what if we went like this? And then went like this. Want something heavy duty. Well, that's not a very good circle, is it? Look at that. It's all off. I stayed pretty well on the line. Oh, I did get off the lines there. Um, I have a giant hole punch. Hang on. Where's the giant hole punch? I thought I had a giant one. I have a giant flower. Giant butterfly. Oh, now I know I have a giant hole punch. Oh my gosh, Martha, I just realized that I have an oval. An oval punch. <laughs> I didn't know I had an oval one. I got a bunch of them in the, when I bought a whole bunch, and I had no idea. Well, good heavens, I do know that I have a giant one. But I don't know where it's at. Luigi's helping me, so I'll use this one. Not the size I want, but... Oh, look at that. A nice hole. Not saving it. And... I think we'll go this way with it. Put one on each side. And I think I'm going to use the um, Fabri-Tac. If it ever comes down. You have to have the patience of a saint sometimes with some of these things. Because you get going and you're like, okay, 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 I'm ready. And the glue's not ready. There's that one. Want that one on this side. Because I wanted the flower to show. Got that song in my head still. My husband came in the house the other day and it was playing on his um, tablet. He had just come in from his exercise and um, it was Let the Good Times Roll by the Cars. Of 
course, the words repeat over and over again, so it's easy to get it in your head and not get it out. But, just keep singing it in there. There, look at that. Now this is probably going to bend over like this because um, we have a flap on our journal. So, but that's okay because it is. It's just okay. So, thank you, Christmas paper. You were very helpful to us. Now, I know our time is up. I forgot to set my timer, and I don't really know how long we've been crafting. Um, everything takes time with these journals. slice set up. So there's that. Now we need something behind it. Nope. 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 Yep. Yes, she ate. I thought maybe you'd already fed her. Are you recording? Yes, I am. Hubby says hi, people. I'm sure they all said hi back. Oh. There. I like it. I'm going to use a quarter inch rounder. And on here. I am not going to put a tie on this one because it will get too uh, bulky in that pocket. But I do want to put this in there. On there, not in there. My glue works good. It's a brand new bottle and it was really runny so I shook and shook and shook and shook and shook it. And usually that helps if you shake your glue up good if it's thin and kind of runny. Um, when this stuff's runny it does not stick at all. So, you know if it needs to be shook because the glue will be watery and um, you'll just know. But that's the problem with it. It needs to be shook up. If it does that weird stuff, it needs to be all shook up. Ah. Uh. Nice to have fresh glue. I got my door open today. The reason I 
wanted to be able to let my animals in here was because it gets extremely hot in here. Yesterday, and there's air conditioning in here, but this room is at the end of the house and it's at the end of the pipeline for the air vents. And uh, this room was it just hit 80 degrees when I quit yesterday. So it gets too warm. Okay, so this is going to go right in here. So it does have a journal. Oh. Good thing we put that fabric up there because I didn't think about it needing to have a, an extra bend in it. But it does. Okay. We need a string. I have some of that wax in the blue. It's a little different blue, but I think it'll work. I think we'll put the tie at the top. I'm going to just double wrap it up there. Oh, there's my dog. Did you find your bone? Oh, good girl. You want to lay down on the rug? Lay on the rug. Lay down. I'm trying to give her a place so she can be with me. My husband suggested I put down a rug for her. And then I thought, well, I'm going to put down a rug. I'm going to bring her some bones. So, that crunchy new hair is her chewing on her bones. So I guess it's working. I like to figure eight wrap these. And so that is done. Oh, this is... Oh, I'm sorry. I was off camera. I'm so sorry. I was paying attention to the dog. I'm very sorry. I tied this on here and this is that same wax thread. Um, it, it seems like it's going to work fine. I am so sorry I was off camera. Now I'll probably have to add it. So, so anyway. Alright. So this is what we have. We have a little booklet here. And up here we have this. And this, my friends, looks like just a card, but it's actually a full sheet of paper that folds out so you can journal on it. Front and back. Push it back in there. So there's that. Then right here we have another little journal book. And I've made a different cut in this one to um, tie it together. And you'll see it in the center of the book. This is eight tiny pages plus a this is how the book is held together. So a little writing journal right here. I'm going to make my own little envelopes next time. And right here I have ephemera. And here is another little journal that says, for you. And there's six pages in that one. I think I like it better this way. Libby, get out of there. Get out of there. 
here's a treasured moments journal. Get your bone. Where's your bone? Get it. And it has eight pages. Journaling front and back. Plus the inside of the notebook. So there's another little journal. And a little place to put a picture or a memory there. This folds over like that. Here we have some more ephemera and uh, I went ahead and um, put the uh, eyelets in here with the ribbon. Got to have ephemera for whoever gets the journal. They might want to put something in with their words. Little butterfly. In here we have a little journaling card. And here we have a little journal notebook. Front and back can be journaled on. In here is some more ephemera. Here we have two little journaling notebooks. This one I just put a rivet through, or sorry, an eyelet through and tied it with ribbon. And this one is uh, I might have stapled that one in there. I'm not sure. I think I did. And it's just a little tablet. Over here we have just a pocket with a missing, it's a long one. I know it's here somewhere. And we'll come across that tag somewhere. It might be in here. Um, back to the front page we have, let me flip this back over. Back to the front page we have, I showed you before, a little journaling notebook that says beauty. And it has that beautiful rose dyed paper in it. Oh, that stuff is so pretty. That's the cat. Luigi, come here. I'm just going to open this up. In here I have a tag, I believe, that I put be positive, believe, and dream big on. Little journaling spot back there with some onion skin paper on it. And I just uh, stenciled on one of those blow away flowers there with a butterfly and I just cut one of the tags down put it on um, some of the basic gray fabric in pink this time and it says dreams do come true here's a little place for a picture and behind that is a place for a book But, uh, this one, let's see, and I did put a little book in it, yes. It says notes, and I cut a little piece here, I had to cut two pieces of paper, and I used the Christmas paper, again, that blue, the same I used on that little blue journal, and then I um, used an edge cutter to make a lacy edge. It's just another little notebook. So you can see this, even though this does, oh look, there it is. Yay! There is that beautiful piece of paper. So let's see if I have any more tags I can put in there. I think I just have this big circles left. I, I can cut some tags to put in there though. Put that fabric over there. 
Yep, I've put all the tags in, looks like. And let's see, what else do we have? So I'll, I'll cut a couple of tags to put in there. We have this part that says laugh daily down here. So I'm going to put in here some more ephemera. Uh, this was just a little cutout. Let's even it up. Let's even it up, she says, while she makes it all crooked. So there's a little piece of ephemera. Here's our greetings. Um, this one says love and live every moment, laugh every day, love beyond words. So we'll put that in there. And let's see if we have, oh, dreams do come true. Let's see if it fits. Yes, it does. We'll put that in there. Just looking for words over here. There's one of those big circles. The um, this kit had this pad had a lot of words, and it had a lot of repeat words, and so um, or repeat phrases, and I just didn't want to keep putting the same ones in. So that's why they're off on the side like this and then you can use them in the journal part see and there was lots of these that really just couldn't be used um, here's one that says with love let's um let's cut it there We'll put some little color spots in. And, oh, here's a little tag thing that goes in here. So there's lots of ephemera there. So that makes it really nice. Um, gives you some things to put into your journal. Oh, here, here's a word. It says, for you with love. Uh, let's find that other one that goes to the back. So what do you think? I think it's here. Let's just tuck it in back here where those extra tags are. So there is the very thick and very wonderful journal. I am going to double wrap this around. I don't think it'll create a bow, but I might. There we go. All done. And it is ready for my next giveaway. This is um, be my 200 subscriber giveaway. Um, hoping to build up even more people, but this is a nice, nice journal. It turned out lovely. And uh, I'm really happy with it. Very happy with it. It's so unique. It's just really wonderful. Really, really wonderful. So anyway, that is the end of our stay, play, and uh craft with me um, we will have another stay play and craft with me but it won't be an envelope journal it'll be something else and then that's just a series I'm going to do off and on stay play and whatever I said on it <laughs> so um, but this Let's Play with the Envelope journal, it turned out great, and I'm really happy with it. I'm 
really satisfied with how it turned out. I have to tell you, I was extremely nervous when I started. Um, it's way out of my ballpark to do something like this. And I am going to, I have a set another challenge for myself to do a, an actual junk journal or a junk journal out of junk mail envelopes. So I'll let you know how that goes. So anyway, thank you again for joining me. Please like or give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe when I hit the 200 mark. This will be done in a giveaway. And let's see what else. Say hi to everybody for me when you see them. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.